In this video, I'm going to explain how to transform an m by m confusion matrix into a 2 by 2 confusion matrix. Now, I'm going to be relying on my previous three videos on explaining what the confusion matrix is um, and how to extract some useful metrics from it. If you remember from the last video, we explained the confusion matrix for multiple classes and we had this one as an example and we agreed that we're going to use the columns as our predicted classes i.e. from our model whereas the actual classes will be our rows and we mentioned that the diagonal values will be the the true positives now a few things to remember from the last video this is the heart of the issue here this is the heart of the uh, 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 transformation uh, process if we fully understand these points then we can do the transformation quite easily the total number of test examples of any class would be the sum of the corresponding row so total number of class D for example of test points from class D will be the sum of the row D remember that predicted R columns and actual R actuals are uh, uh, the, uh, the, the rows now the total number of false negatives for a class will be the sum of values in the corresponding row of that class without the true positive we mentioned the true positive if the are the diagonal values and if I want to work out the false negatives the number of false negatives for for example class C then I sum all the values in the row the C row without the true positive for uh, for class C and the number of false positives for a certain class is the sum of values in the corresponding column without the true positive ie excluding the true positive of that class so if I want to work out the number of false positives for class D then it's the sum of, of the values in column D without or excluding the uh, uh, the true positive of class D so it's sum of this value plus this value plus this value plus this value and the total number of the true negatives for a certain class will be the sum of all columns and rows excluding that class is column and row if you remember from last the last video we crossed out for example for class B we crossed out column B and row B so we just remove we assume that column B is not there and row B is, are, is not there and then we sum up all the remaining values and that will be the number of true negatives for class B for example so the issue the problem now becomes uh, for two classes it becomes class X and not X this is sort of one versus all approach or one against all approach and the idea now for our two by two confusion matrix remember predicted are the columns and actuals are the classes and now we just have two classes for example positive and negative or maybe we can say x and not x this quadrant will have the true positives which are easy to get the diagonal value in the confusion matrix this quadrant will have the number of false negatives this quadrant will have the number of false positives and this quadrant will have the number of true negatives now this is just a plain English explanation of these points here again this this is at the heart of the transformation problem we need to understand this properly the number of um, true positives is taken from the diagonal value from the original matrix the number of false negatives we sum all the counts where class X was incorrectly classified as another class we mentioned that the number of false negatives will be the row excluding the true positive value the number of false positives will be the sum of all counts where other classes were incorrectly classified as X which is the same as uh, summing all the values in the corresponding column for that class excluding the number of true positives and the number of true negatives the value in this quadrant will be the sum of all counts of true positives for other classes apart from the class X excluding the false, false the true positive of class X and we sum that with the sum of counts where other classes were incorrectly classified as other classes apart from the current class so uh, uh, incorrect classifications for other classes amongst each other excluding this class which means the same idea of crossing out the corresponding column and row of that class and summing everything together so if we have a simple example now a 3 by 3 confusion matrix and these are the true positives and these are the errors this is error a classified as B, A classified as C, B classified as A, B classified as C, likewise for the C class. These are the true positives and we want to convert it or transform it into a 2 by 2 confusion matrix. Let's have an example and see how things work out. Now for the two classes A and not A, 
we fill the values accordingly. The first quadrant, the true positives, we take it directly from the, the original confusion matrix. The total number of false negatives for class A will be the sum of the values in the corresponding row without the true positive. We sum EAB plus EAC, as you can see here. The number of false positive for the class A will be the sum of column A without the true positive for A. So it will be EBA plus ECA. This is the number of false positives. Likewise, for the true negative, as we mentioned before, we cross out the corresponding row and the corresponding column and we sum everything else, as you can see here and here. So that's a two by two matrix, uh, A and not A. Remember, this is the one ag against all approach. If we want that for class B, for example, we so follow the same approach. So the true, neg the true positive for, so, sorry, for class B is taken directly from the original confusion matrix. The number of false negatives will be the sum of row B excluding the true positive for B. So it will be EBA plus EBC, as you can see. The number of uh, false positives will be the sum of the column B excluding the true positive for class B. So it will be EAB plus ECB, as you can see. And the number of true negatives will cross out column A and row uh, row A. I'm sorry, column B and row B, and then sum up the remaining values, as you can see here. Nice and easy for class C, for example. It'll be C and not C now, as you can see. And the number of true positives is taken away from directly from the original confusion matrix. The number of false negatives is the sum of row C excluding excluding the true positive for C. So it'll be ECA plus ECB. The number of false positives will be the sum of the column C, excluding the true positive for C. So it'll be, it will be EAC plus EBC, as you can see here. And the number of true negatives for class C, we can work out that out by crossing out the column A and, I'm sorry, the row, the row C and column C, and then sum together all the remaining values. So if you see, for example, uh, some formal uh, representation or mathematical representation, representation of these things with the sigma uh, symbol and all those summations. That's what that means in plain English. Now, let's take a just a simple example from the confusion matrix we had in the last video for class B. So we'll convert it into a B and not B. Remember, this is what it looks like. Our two by two confusion matrix will look like, like this. And this is our example, three by three confusion matrix. And this is how we work things out. We can fill out the values now for now for B, now the number of true positives for class B is B classified as B, that's 32. And the number of false negatives, remember, we sum rho B without, uh, with the sum of rho B without the false, uh, the, the, the true positive for, for, for B, so it'll be 3 plus 4, we exclude the 32. The number of false positives will be the sum of the column B without the true positive will be, it'll be so it will be 5 plus 0 and the number of true negatives will cross out row B and column B and sum everything else so it'll be 25 plus 2 plus 1 plus 15 you just work out these values and that will be your 2 by 2 confusion matrix I hope it makes sense I know it's quite easy to understand and easy to implement that's how you do it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos